bricks, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, Afrowax. Relax, will you? Hello, Afrowax. Now, before I get going today, I just wanted to show you what I have been sent by the Tweedle Twins. Are you ready? Look at this. Look, I've been, I've been sent the burrows by the Tweedle Twins. Uh, I'm blown away. Uh, thank you so very, very, very much. Anyway, um, we'll build that. <coughs> Might do that after Elf House. That's about that. We'll do it after Elf House. <coughs> so, uh, without further ado, let's uh, get Nolin with Bag 3. <laughs> No, a person. Righty ho, let's get our elf done. Uh, same top as before, no difference, of course. Uh, this one has a, a slightly anxious face. Um, he's worried. Maybe he's not hitting his wrapping targets. Uh, we don't know. Oh dear. There we go. Oh, will you look at him? Um, I think that's Steve. So we've got Ian and Barry and uh, Steve, the elves. So uh, off to the, uh, the Google eyes. Uh, the Google eyes, and we start with Jordan, 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 Rumpa Bumpa 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 as I know obscure knowledge from Doctor Who, listen to everyone's liking. By the way, uh, Steve gets a, a loud halo. This is probably why he's anxious. He's been put in a, in, in a position of responsibility and he's not wearing a tabard. I think it, it, it's against the law, isn't it? Anyone that has a, a loud halo um, should be wearing a tabard, shouldn't they? Mm, well, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Hmm. Oh, that's already there. So I don't have to worry about that. Um, I think you should continue with your, your, your Doctor Who facts for as long as you want to continue with your Doctor Who facts, Jordan. Uh, Sharon Renzoli, Sharon Renzoli, Sharon Renzoli, Sharon Renzoli, Sharon Renzoli, Sharon Renzoli. Uh, she says, uh, hey, you live on Lynn. Please continue. Yeah, a Trump story for Thanksgiving. Yo, mother goose. Uh, my Eleanor worked for Trump in the 90s in the accounting department. Oh, my word. Oh, I mean, surely there's going to be an awful lot more stories uh, coming from this one. Only about 12 people in the whole office. TV film crew came to the office to interview the Donald. The Donald. Big hand, little hand. It was around lunchtime and the crew and TV host brought in a gorgeous food spread and desserts for the office. Real sports, these TV people. After the interview, as the employees lined up to chow down, Trump announced to a few of his toadies, Wrap up the food and take it upstairs to my apartment. Yo, catch you later. Yeah, ten four. What an absolute pig of a man. What's a pig of a man? 
uh, he can surely not go to jail quick enough, quite frankly. But anywho, good grief, well, I bet I bet she had some heck, heckish stories about him. And especially if, as she was in his accounting department. Oh, now I've got brown blindness. What's that there? Oh, it's horrible brown blindness. I think it's this. I think it's that. I might have to come up a little bit here. Hang on, please. Hang on. There we go, that's better, isn't it? <clears throat> now you can see what's going on. The top here. Let me just see, shall I come in a little bit? Because I think we might be just doing a lot of roof activity today. There we go, that's nice. Uh, where am I up to? Jordan, mastermind is terrifying. Yes, it is. Yes. Uh, that music, the chair. That Vietnamese woman on the box of the game. Wait, uh, wait a minute, who was she? Um, oh, yes, I know what you meant. Yes. Uh, oh, she wasn't terrifying. I found that the, the fella on, on, the, on the front of the box absolutely terrifying. Don't know who, who, who he was. He, he was horrible to look at with your eye. He looked like he, he, he might be like a, a baddie that would turn up in a Superman movie. Um... But yes, gosh, I remember that. Remember that. Um, next page of the Google Eyes. Uh, yes, I do know Mastermind the Game isn't really anything to do with the quiz show, but it still really confuses me. Mm. Eric, he's got a duck of fans, yo. They both like watching Lego. And they really like musicals. Oh, his name is Eric. Ba ba bum, etc. Says the colour of sorrow. He's quoting me. Uh, this made me laugh out loud. I found out from a couple of articles I was reading about a couple of bills that colour that that, that colour this colour this colour is called olive green by Lego. So I guess it wouldn't be the colour of sorrow if used in a Lego martini. Hmm. Hmm. I would love to see the Colosseum built, but I have a feeling I will be in the minority. Yeah, this is, do you know what? I'm, I'm calling this now. It's never going, it's not going to happen, Eric. It really isn't going to happen. Um, I've, I've, I've had a good solid look at that and I don't think it, it's, I don't think it's giving us anything that we love on Relax With Bricks. And as you know, we like uh, lots of detail. We like lots of colour. We like fun. And the Colosseum, as impressive as it is, um, I don't think, I just don't think it's a Relax With build. Relax With Bricks build, I really don't. It's not for us, gang. It's not for us. Um, Sharon Ranzui says, Lady Liberty build, puddle, please. Lady Liberty build, please, please, she says. Uh, well, we, we'll have to see, because I do believe there has been a, uh, there's been a poll, so we'll have to see what, what's happened. Oh, Joe Perry. Here he comes, the miscreant himself. Um, uh, there will be no uh, repercussions. Hang on, I'm coming out again. There will be no repercussions as you played right into my hands and I got exactly what I wanted. Eggs. I, yes, but, uh, I, I will accept uh, that you have tricked me, good and proper, John Perry. I will accept this. But I, I slightly need to know what the trick was. Was if, if the trick was you wanted me to get me to put your uh, original head back on, fine. If your uh, trick was to get me to uh, put you in Afawakatras, also similarly fine. I salute you, but I need to know what the ruse was. Also, is the strike over? 
Is it not over? Is it now a permanent strike? Has everybody left? What's going on? What's going on? I need to know what's going on. It's all very well being left in the dark, but being left in the dark is being left in the dark. Um, uh, not far off uh, completion. Oh, look. Look at the lovely colours on that. Oh, that's absolutely tremendous. Okay. Where did you get the purple windows? They are absolutely magnifique. They are wonderful. I love that in purple. That, that purple with the gold is just exceptional. Absolutely love that. Well done, John Perry. He says, oh, oh, P.S., uh, thanks for the kind words, but I fear I may have scared uh, Justin Rebson. Oh, yes, I think you, yes, I think you probably have. And let that be a, a lesson to you, sir. Let that be a lesson to you. Scaring off John Ramsden. Honestly, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? Hang on, I think there's something neat. I think there needs to be another thing here. Hang on. Hang on, please. Hang on, please. Oh, yes. Okay, missed out a bit. Professor Lego, we had a Lego celebrity amongst us, and you had to scare him off. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think you might you might be in a bit of trouble for that, John Perry. You're you're probably lucky that Mr. Graham Triggs is on strike, because otherwise there probably would have been a call for Almost certainly would have been a call for an adjudication, but uh, but Mr. Graham Triggs, it, it seems, is, is still very much on strike. So, um, I mean, I, I'd, I'd just like to know if I need to appoint a new VAR. That's, I mean, do, do I need to appoint a new VAR? Has, has he left us for good? Has Mr. I mean, I can't even bear, I can't even bear to say that, that out loud. Uh, is he coming back? Do we have an indication of when he's coming back? Or does a new VAR need to be appointed? Uh, <sighs> these are things I'm constantly having to deal with here. And relax with the bricks. Constant, constant, constant. Constant. Constant problems. Is that it? Have I done that? Done? Yes, I have. Ooh. Ooh, niceness. We're making two of these. Oh, well done, me, for noticing. I'm giving myself a round of applause for it. Well done, me, for noticing. Well done. Uh, I've, I've already eaten about 40 mince pies. I will never wait till December. I I love them. You, you know, it, it's what I'm beginning to learn here is, is what a rebel you are. You, you are quite the rebel, uh, John Parry, with your eating of mince pies prior to uh, December the 1st and everything else. Uh, noted, sir. Noted. Noted, sir. Noted. Noted. I, however, will not eat a mince pie prior to December the 1st. I think it is an abomination. Uh, but there it is. There it is. Uh, Rosie Lee. <gasps> Rosie Lee says, me too, John. That's as in loving them. I've not eaten, eaten 40 yet, but give it time. I love them. Oh, Rosie Lee. Oh, Rosie Lee. Rosie Lee says, oh, I haven't eaten 40 in a day. Oh, I've only had six today. Oh, hashtag not kidding. A face says, I love mince pies. I have to restrict myself. As the bakery ones are the best. Oh, oh I've had some rather nice Sainsbury's taste of difference ones today. Uh, Sainsbury's are the only ones I haven't tried, says Faye. I don't like it if they're too boozy. Oh, you, you might not like these, but brandy ones. Uh, and then, oh, I mean, I do love a brandy mince pie. That That is my my favourite, uh, my favourite sort of mince pie. But I will not eat them prior to December the 1st. 
I did the same with the I feel the same way um, about people who put their Christmas decorations up before December the 1st. What's, what's, what on earth is going on? It's not right. Mm, although, having said that, Georgie Gobbon yesterday told me that someone she works with has has put up their Christmas decorations and then she did turn to me and she said, shall we put up our Christmas decorations? And then we realised that actually we, we we never took down some of our Christmas decorations from last year because we like them so much. So technically I've had Christmas decorations uh, up all year round, which I, I suppose is, is, is a, that, that's a boinging of myself there. So um there it is. Although they don't look like Christmases, they just, they just twinkle. They're just special twinkle lights that we just kept up because we loved them so much. They made the sitting room look so nice. They're not like, you know, they're like twinkly, like, like fairy like things that we kept up on various places. Baby Smiles and the Sensei. Uh, I've got Strawberry, the Moaning Mini, the Matara, the Lego Whispery. He says, um, ooh, hang on, look, put that on there. That's rather nice, isn't it? What's Bevis say? He says, uh, I can't say I disagree with you about the slime green walls. He means these ones, not these ones. We like this colour. We're, we're, we're great fans of this colour. Why on earth didn't they make this this colour? That we all hate this colour. I mean, if anyone loves this colour, then, you know, speak forth. But I'm absolutely loathing it. Don't like it at all. But I like this one. It's lovely. <coughs> then he says, uh, mince pies before December the 1st may be disapproved of. But then you've never had one of my mince pies. <coughs> never let it be said, Bevis, that... That that you're a, a mo modest uh, and uh, no, you 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 don't want people to know about your your amazing skills. N never let it be said. Never let it be said. Um. Uh, he says you had a spare one at the end of Sesame Street build, and you still didn't provide me with a wand. Do requests mean nothing to you, Knuckles? Now then, all right, I'm going to do it right now. I think I think I've got them in. Ro I think I keep wands in rods. In rods. Let's have a look. Come on, let's have a look. Let's get out my little tweezers. Get out my microbix tweezers. Right, shush, everyone. I've got to find Davis a wand. I mean, I think they're in here. Yes, there's one. Thank you. Oh, look, you get a beige one. That's nice, isn't it, Bevis? I think that that, that, that those the, the baby tweezers were needed rather than Felicia in this instance. Right, come in, come come, come forth, please, from the Temple of Anubis, uh, Bevis. Here we go. Happy now? Happy? Yes, I'm happy. Thank you. I mean, it took your time, but thanks. Right, all right, go on. Back to the Temple of Anubis you go. By the way, um, let's. I can. I can now reveal that part one of uh, Jordan's epic has. It's in the can. It's in the can. Um, so there's some editing going on today. And I'm doing the voiceover uh, for it today at some point, uh, but that will be uh, arriving shortly as a as probably the greatest halftime show we've ever had, and I'm and I'm including the Moss Eisley one in that. Uh, so the, the bar is ever rising uh, with these. This is, of course, the, the script that uh, Jordan wrote for it, which I followed slavishly. Um, I've, um, I'm going to have to add in a few, few extra, bit, a, a bit of additional material on the on the uh, 
on on the dialogue. Uh, I hope you don't mind, Jordan. Just to uh, just from a practical point of view, that's all. But I will be very much sticking to your uh, script as much as possible. Um, anyway, that's that's going to be very enjoyable. And I'm hoping we'll we'll have that to show you by the end of the week. Um, that uh, Bevis says those are waffles rather than pancakes. He's referring to uh, these, of course. Ooh, these waffles, waffles, not pancakes. Ooh, uh, you'll get to the waffle maker in a bit. Uh, he says some lovely details already, particularly like the wrapping station and the rounded front door. Yeah, me too. And actually, given that I said I agreed about the slime green, once it's set off by the white and browns, it's not too bad. Mm. Uh, that might be my colour blindness muting it too, though. Then he said, yesterday I had mince pies. Why, oh, I order. Today I am making Christmas face masks because if I'm wearing them through December, then you want them covered in festive designs. Thank you very much. Oh, will you look? Will you look? He's, he's a little eager beaver. That's what he is. Little Sue. She's called Little Sue. She's little and she's called Sue. She's Little Sue. Uh, uh, hello. It's, it's me, little Sue. Bonjour, c'est moi, la petite Sue. La petite Sue, avec les poissons poissons. Non, rien de rien. Non, je n'en ai plus rien. Du, 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 la, la, la. Boo, boo, boo. La 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 la. I'm wearing onions and a stripy top, but I'm not smoking. J'ai des cigarettes because that would be really wrong and bad. La 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 la. Finished? Yes, I finished. I'm ready to say what I have to say. Thank you. Uh, Emma. Yes. Uh, the, 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 the Coliseum. The, yes. The, the, it's a no for me actually because um, it's, I mean, it's, it's certainly an impressive set. Yeah, I mean, it is an impressive set, Little Sue. Yes, it, I mean, I, I cannot disagree with you uh, on this because, uh, yes, it's a to look to look at with your actual eyes. What else would you look at? When, um, should be quiet, please. I haven't finished. Thank you. Don't interrupt me. Otherwise, I get lost. Yeah, boom. Uh, um, to look at it with your actual eyes, as I said previously, um, it it is a very, very, very impressive sight, uh, but. Agree. I don't. I, I agree with you, Emma. In that, I do not think it, it will. F it will f fit here. By which I mean, on relax with the experience parts of our dog. Uh, we make. I think we're making something super here. So I'm going to come in for it. Um. Uh, Bevis Musson says, quite apart from anything else, the roller coaster barely fitted on the haunted table. I'm not sure the Colosseum will even fit in the shed. Yeah, I mean, it does look absolutely mahoosive. Mahoosive. Um, it's not for us. It's not for us. I think I think we have established this. But I mean, I you know, I, that's not to say I, I won't I won't consider it if if a lot of you really do. Uh, want to see it done if the majority of you do want to see it done then of course i will do it oh will you look at this look look at that in the matter of moments we have made a little wreath look at that and it's pliable mm. i think that's the best way around for it um oh that's that's lovely that's very clever that's really clever you can have a clap for that that 
it's going. Sorry, it come out. It's going there. Oh look. That's really nice. That's really, really, really nice. Nice. Uh where are we up to? Uh Rosie Lee. Says so loving this set with the cute little elves. Shame the building is such a yucky green colour. Infant baby poo comes to mind. Why couldn't it be a bright colour like red or the green used in the rugs or my hat? I mean, I completely agree. But I, I'm going to do a version of this. I, I am. Um, Tanya and Alberta says, I really don't mind. Uh, Ruth Hayes, I love that the elves only get their frankly marvellous ears when they get their hat. I don't know why, but it makes me happy. Uh, Biff says, the werewolf minifigs are the same. Agree that there's something very cute uh, about it. That's a good werewolf. I don't think I've got a werewolf minifig. Uh, Neil said, I did wonder if it might result in some creative direction for minifigs, but hadn't realised it had already started with werewolves uh, as potentially other wonders. Uh, werewolves to elves, there is no direction. This can't take. Hashtag all about the ears. Uh, Bevis says, uh, the ears as part of the hat slash hair aren't that uncommon a feature. As well as the elves and the werewolf, there have been several aliens, a gargoyle and bats that I know of that use the same basic design. I couldn't say which came first though. Mm, maybe Professor Lego will be able to uh, tell us about that. Um, the elves aren't a new design, says Bevis. As far as hats go, anyway. Mm, hang on. Um, and have been part of a lot of Christmas sets over the years. The thing that's particularly good about them is that it means any yellow minifig head can be used as an elf and they'll still have pointy ears. Absolutely divine. They are divine. Uh, Rosie Lee says it's a big no from Judge Rosie on the Coliseum. Too repetitive and not a joy to watch your build. Looks impressive when completed. Oh yes, yes, I think we're all in agreement here. Uh, Professor, lag out. Ooh, hang on. Hang on, Professor Lego. No, is that correct? I think it is. Yes. Oh, and it's going there. Oh, look at that. Is that, called, is that called a dormer window when it comes out? I don't really know. Someone will tell me. Someone will tell me. Uh... Professor Lego, the star or design plate uh, 4x4 uh, by 2 slash 3 number 1 is new for you, Emma, but was designed in 2019. It appeared in 9 Lego Movie 2 sets, just not the two that you've built. Thank you, Professor Lego. Thank you. Thank you. It goes without saying that the reindeer is new as well and currently extremely coveted. Putting together a full squad will be expensive given they only appear in the set for the moment. Oh, that's lovely to know that the reindeer is is brand new. Foo-wee, that's exciting. Uh, Neil says, a retouch Rudolph to give the red nose is sure to appear in time. The designer would like to refer to this initial reindeer as Brixen, the legendary 10th reindeer, I understand. Now, ah, now this is interesting. Um... I do believe they won't be allowed to have a red-nosed reindeer uh, because you, you are not allowed anywhere to do a red-nosed reindeer because it's subject to copyright. Um, I do believe that that is, that that is the case. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that is the case actually but yeah so every time you see a a, a a card like a Christmas card that's got a Rudolph with a red nose on they're actually breaching copyright I don't know why I know that why do I know that as a fact it's just like one of those random things that you pick up along the way isn't it um 
Oh, here we go, poll. Uh, Professor Langer, we have a poll. Uh, what would everybody like uh, for the next micro build? Uh, vote now. A push option to appease the Ethel Wax. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Well, uh, in, in, in fourth position, uh, with 6% of the vote, it's Taj Mahal. In second place, with 25% of the vote, it's the Statue of Liberty. In second place, with 31% of the vote, it's the Notre Dame de Paris. Uh, but in first place, with 38% of the vote, it's Push Strikers of the Table. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and also... And also... I can't, I can't bring myself, I can't, I, I can't bring myself to push the strikers off the table. I can't. I can do it, I can do it to, um, to buildings. I can't do it to minifigs. It wouldn't be right. It wouldn't feel right. Sorry. I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, so, okay. So the next micro build then will be the uh, Notre Dame de Paris, uh, which I'm hoping, I'm hoping I will get that going. Um, after I've, I've I've got the next part of Jordan's animation to do, and then uh, I will get started on that micro brick build. So that'll be lovely. Uh, Bev Bratton, Bev Bratton. She says expecting the Colosseum to be quite tedious to watch. Yes, I sought out a speed build of it just to see. Stop watching because once the base was finished, the rest was so dull. Much prefer something bright and cheerful. And varied, please. Noted, Bev Bratton, noted. Uh, Eric says, was hearing a low hum throughout this build. Thought at first it was landscapers across the street from me until I lifted my headphones and realised it was today's video. Mm, there, there, there might have been, I think there was someone having some, doing some streaming or something yesterday. So, a polls for that if it, if it affected your enjoyment of the video or... or uh, today you you i don't know if you can hear it but um um we are well we're not that near it but it, it constantly amazes me how we manage to actually hear what's going on but we're quite near uh, an mod shooting range and they occasionally go off there and pretend that there's all merry hell kicking off and this morning there there were uh, there was shooting and stuff happening but um, well, I mean, I can I can hear guns now going off. I don't know if you can. There should be a a sticker there, and that is I'll just show it to you. Oh, it's a little it's a little calendar, so it would be this one, number one sticker number one. Okay, lovely. Um, that Ruth Hayes says hello here, Eric. That's a Boeing. <laughs> thank you. And then Eric says, and ha happens sometimes with the U and the I next to each other. Uh, Neil, we watched it after it had started to get dark this evening and I was convinced a neighbour was out with the garden stream. Yes, it does happen every now and again. Didn't even occur to me it could be on a film made earlier in the day during daylight hours. Uh, hashtag thanks for the heads up. Hashtag neighbours aren't as mad as I thought. Uh, Professor Lego. Ooh, hang on. Yes, that's that's there. Voila. Um Professor Lego. To appreciate the context of the old PC in this build, um you need to know that a brick sketcher was the designer behind this set. Prior to starting at Lego, he was a prolific designer, making a large number of exquisite builds. Picture. Thank you. He also designed a miniature NES at some time ago. Ooh, a mini one, gosh. Uh, uh, to clarify, the designer is Chris McVeigh and his Twitter alias is Brick uh, Sketcher. By the way, something very exciting happened yesterday. I had a Twitter exchange with the actual, the actual designer of Ninjago City. Can you even believe it? Um... And he is now following. Can me? He's now following me. Can you even believe it? 
Can you even believe it? Although he's following Emma Kennedy, I'm not sure he's following um, Lego with. But even so, gee willikers. I mean, it's they're, they're, they're like rock stars for us, aren't they? You can take your rock stars. We'll just have the Lego designs, thanks. Thank you, yes. Uh, oh, sorry, you've got a, a number one album that's worldwide, etc. Oh, we're not interested. Have you designed a Lego set? Thank you, we love you. The end. And scene ends. Um, Faye just watched a Colosseum build. It's a brilliant design, but Emma, it would take us like a year to it with club business, so it's a no from me. Noted. Uh, scrub down, scrub down. Uh, she says, uh, the Colosseum, hard no. Thank you, uh, Ruth Hayes. Colosseum looks magnificent at first glance, but actually too repetitive and too beige. Thumbs down from me. Look, well, I mean, it looks as if everybody's in agreement here. Um, Bev says, agree with you, read the wall colour, EK. Sludge doesn't exactly scream Christmas to me. Couldn't they have made it a brighter colour? It's, it's, it's our only quibble with this lovely little set thus far. Imagine if it had been, it had been pearlescent gold. <gasps> be still my beating heart. Or holly berry red. Or even Christmas tree green. Oh, that, that would have been lovely, actually, Bev. But well, I agree with you completely. Thank you, little Sue. Uh, thoughts on the Colosseum, says Tony Mildred. Da, 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 da. No, absolutely not. Ooh, no. Nope. No. Thank you. Uh, that's pretty clear, Tony Mildred. It's pretty clear. Thank you. Thank you, little Sue. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Tanya Del says, are you sure? I, I can't be misconstrued. Just to be sure. No, really no. But thank you for asking. No. Uh, Beth Bratton says, something tells me you're not really keen on that build. Not sure what's making me think that, though. No, you, you rapscallions. You cheeky pusses. Ooh, now look. It's only being fixed on by one. But that's that's lovely, isn't it? Lovely little effect. Again, though, I would have liked a brighter colour than brown. I would have gone brighter with this set. And I may well go brighter when I do my very own version of it. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? I'll do that on author's own, obviously, and then I'll show you when I've finished it. Uh, Emma? Yes? Uh, I've, got, I've got a request. Yeah, come on then. Uh, please, may I request that one of, one of the elves is named Bri Bryony Shellfly um, as a nod to of a Christmas. Uh, and because it's only right, because uh, your voice was in it, wasn't it? Although not as Bryony. Because you, you, were, you, you, were, you, were, you were in that film, weren't you, Emma? Uh, Arthur Christmas? Um, yes, I was. And get ready for this. Uh, I, I was technically, technically, I was the original Bryony because uh, I went to Ardman and uh, I spent a day there with the writer and director uh, and it was me and Dave Schneider and he played Arthur oh no he played Arthur's uh, granddad that's right it was another actor uh, who who was playing Arthur but I was playing Bryony and we basically just did lots of improvising um, so I was the original Bryony but yes, I'm just random elves in the actual film. Random elves. Every now and again. Um, Neil says, I love that film. Straighten that teddy bear shoulder, sh soldier. Uh, hashtag Arthur Christmas. Uh, Neil, agreeing with so many others here, with a no to the Coliseum, I agree it doesn't look fun, it's just an impressive final result. Uh, Mike, formerly Tobamori Jake, he got the wrong email. He said the green walls are, well, they remind me of snow sludge. 
the kind of snow that's left on roads after a lot of traffic has driven over it. It should be much brighter, elfier, gr green. Uh, I, c I mean, we can't say it enough, can we? We, we hate we hate that colour. We hate it. Uh, Tell you now, just just just. Hang on a minute. This 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 needs a. Hang on. This is controversial, but I don't mind those wolves. What? 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 Are you feeling right? <laughs> what? 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 Jordan! Jordan! Uh, Tardis facts number three. As the Matrix was mentioned in the previous fact, I shall tell you all briefly about it. The Matrix was a supercomputer. A micro universe uh, used by the High Council of the Time Lords as a stair as a storehouse of knowledge to predict future events, maintained by the keeper of the matrix. As TARDISes possessed their own matrix, every Time Lord and TARDIS was connected to the central matrix on Gallifrey, where uh, where their experiences were constantly being uploaded. For this reason, the Doctor described the Matrix as the sum total of all Time Lord experience. Thank you for that. Thank you for that, Toby. Thank you. Um, Mike Tobermory J. He got the wrong email. Uh, raise his hand. Please can I request that if you ever get even a slight, teeny tiny, fleeting consideration of deciding the ta to tackle the Colosseum, that you don't. Put hand back down. Thank you, please. Muchly, thank you, please. Uh, Tanya now says, I don't think Emma's keen, but yes, don't do it. Thank you. But this mustn't, I, I think the general consensus is that it's an amazing bill that looks incredible once complete, but a large part of the joy of RWB is seeing the little details and the different building techniques and you wouldn't get that with this set or you would but repetitively yes this this is this is the issue with it 100 percent, 100 percent. tanya i think the same with the football stadium yes a great yes it's why i've got no interest in doing that one either uh, i would have thought you'd have to be pretty keen on football to want to build it but then if you were that keen surely you don't even want the ground of the club you support uh, mike tobermory formerly Tim or Jake, uh, he got the wrong email. He says, welcome to the tranquility of the temple, Bevis Musson. Hashtag, don't lean on the walls. Correct. And that concludes the Don't lean on the walls. Don't lean on them. Now then. Ooh, that's going right over there in that corner. And then we've got a little chair going in here. There we go. That's a delightful little room, isn't it? Do you think that's their sort of rest area, like their their common room, do we think? Right, now then. Ooh, we've got we've got a little bit of technics going on here. Is it going? Gosh, where is it going? Is it going here? I think it's going there. Yeah. 
that. Is that right? Okay. So making three of these. Mm. Oh, I think these are the bunk beds. Yeah, look. Well, that's fun, isn't it? very satisfying and then can you hear the guns it's also a streamer going somewhere off in the distance now then that This is tricky. No, I haven't got that right yet. Have I got this wrong? Because there's something stopping that. Yes, I've got it wrong. These are around the wrong way. That'll do it, won't it? Like that. Oh no. tip up isn't it but I wonder where the mechanism is oh it's just that there is no mechanism just your finger but and that is uh, we'll, we'll 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 try this out on uh is it Barry is it Barry or Brian oh, I've forgotten already right let's put you then there and then it's uh, it's just tip them out there but she's a little bit violent and unnecessary Right, I'm making two of these.
these are architectural features. Oh, I've missed out a bit. Where are these going? Ooh. Placing elements. Um, oh, that's it. Oh, hang on. Where did this go? Where did this go? Must be there. Yes, it is. That was there. Uh, right, so that's it. That was um, that was bag three. Lovely little thing, isn't it? Really sweet, nice. Oh, we've got a lot of decoration, and I think we're tackling roofs tomorrow. Um, but there we go. That was uh, bag three. Absolutely delightful little build. I loved that wreath. Thought it was really nice. Um, and uh, the tipping bunk beds are fun. Uh, there it is so come back tomorrow and we will do bed four and don't forget uh, if you want to win this at the next live and breaking then goose up goose up that works forever see you tomorrow bye bye